Here's a strange and curious fact that you find in your Bible. If you're a Christian, it'll say, Thou shalt not tarry with the occult. Now, like me, I want to know what the occult means, so I looked it up in a thesaurus. And it said, anything secretive. Now, that's the definition of occult. Anything secretive. And then it says after, for example, voodoo and black magic. Hmm. Now, whenever I've spoken to anybody from the church or anything like that throughout my life, they've always said voodoo and black magic. They've never said anything secretive. And why not? Well, as a former member of Her Majesty's Armed Forces, I was asked to sign the Official Secrets Act. Something secretive. Something occult. An official occult act. And in America, you have your state secrets. Ah, oh, state occult. <laughs> yeah. Uh, why was Kennedy assassinated, I wonder? Yeah, he was trying to get shut of the CIA. Why? Because they were secretive. They were having covert operation, covert missions. Yeah. And quite simply, as a Christian, he wouldn't be able to balance that with his beliefs. You know, not to tarry with the occult, can't have anything to do with the occult. What government should have anything to do with the occult? Well, hang on a minute. The actual Anglican Church has its 39 Acts by which all ministers agree to comply. Not rock the uh, ecumenical boat, not rock the political boat, the monarchical boat. And not to say anything that might upset the old gravy train of the establishment. Now, go back to it a bit further, to the pape. Pope, uh, papal decrees and all that lot, and you've got over in the Vatican something called the Vault of Secrets. Now, from the Bible and the definition from Webster's Thesaurus and the, uh, <laughs> it just means the Vault of the Occult. So, if we're not supposed to tarry with the occult, why do we have an official occult act, state occult documents, state occult acts? Everything secretive is occult. If Freemasons, your uh, Skull and Bones Society, all these things that are secretive are occult. Yeah, you can't be a Christian and have anything to do with the occult. Hmm, that's a rather curious fact. Yeah. So how do Freemasons equate that when they all say they're Christians and they go to church? It's like your Kulu Kuts clan. <laughs> they're supposed to be Christians. <laughs> I get that lots. They all hide their faces, they're little cowards. That's secretive, to hide your faces, isn't it? If you've got nothing to hide and you're so righteous, why hide your faces? You're just as bad as the CIA or these uh, special police officers that go around with them balaclavas on when they go on raids so they can't be identified when they do something wrong. Yeah, official cult act, I like that. It ties in quite well with why Kennedy got shot as a Christian. Yeah, he was about to rock the boat in a major way and say, no, we're not going to have secrets. We have no need of secrets. Why does the state keep secrets from its population? Why? There's no need. Well, it's against the teachings of the Bible if you're a Christian.